Hi, this is Boynton Stu, and today I'm going to show you the latest development in my water uh, detection switch, which I've made many, many times using many different kinds of materials, and this is the simplest of all. I have about a quarter of a cup of water in that cup. There's my switch. I'm going to turn on the water. Water's on. And by using this switch and the rest of my flood prevention system, this is how easily you can stop a flood. Imagine that water is coming out of your hot water heater, your washer machine, dishwasher, or your sink, ice maker. Any of those items could spring a leak while you're at the supermarket, and by the time you get home, your house is going to be flooded. But not if you have this. Now just watch this. A little water in here. And that's the end of the leak. That's simple. And the only materials to use to make this switch are the bare wires themselves. They're the ones that make the contact. A plastic spring and a special material that will stretch when a little bit of water gets on it. So how much water do we have in that leak? That little amount of water. And that's all there is to it. And uh, when the leak is detected, all you have to do is take those two wire nuts off. It's all low voltage, 24 volts. Wire the two wires together, and now you've got your water back on, and replace the switch. Switch is going to be very, very inexpensive, and you can just replace the switch and be right back in the protective mode again. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been a lot of work to develop this after many, many years of trying, but I believe I've got the final recipe down pretty well. Have a good day.